Earthquake loading is one of the most difficult and complicated components in a civil engineering design. This video will shed light on some of the important aspects to consider from a structural as well as a geotechnical point of view. The natural period of a structure is defined as 2 pi times the square root of the mass divided by the stiffness. As the mass increases or the stiffness decreases, the period of the structure will increase. In other words, a tall building which has a small stiffness and a large mass will have a very long period. It is known if shaking due to an earthquake occurs, the buildings with similar periods will resonate. In other words, their displacements will be large and chances of damage are considerable. A simulation using a natural period device was used to assess the behavior of buildings of different heights under different motions. With a long period, approximately two seconds, the tallest building is showing considerable displacement compared to other buildings. If an earthquake with such a long period occurs, most of the damage will happen to the tallest building, whereas the shorter buildings will be much less affected. By decreasing the period to 0.7 seconds, the second tallest building is showing larger displacement. In the meantime, the very tall building and the shorter buildings are more stable. By decreasing the period more to 0.3 seconds, the mid-height building is showing larger displacement, whereas the other buildings are showing less displacement. By decreasing the period more to 0.1 second, only the shortest building is resonating with the applied motion. This simulation has shown the importance of the structural aspects when earthquakes happen. This explains why in 1985, during the Mexico City earthquake, the mid-height buildings were severely damaged and the buildings taller than 15 stories and those shorter than 6 stories were much less affected. In the next simulation, the mid-height building is subjected to the same shaking using different soil foundations, one with a rigid foundation, such as bedrock, and the other with jello, simulating a very soft soil. With the stiff foundation, the building is showing relatively small movements. Once the jello is placed under the building, it is clear that the displacement is larger. Also, the building loses stability and potentially would have collapsed. Structures built on different soils behave differently. A soft soil, like jello, results in an amplified movement of the building. In this case, the soft soil has affected the structure negatively. Sometimes it could decrease the structural response and be beneficial. As we have seen, our buildings are affected by both geotechnical and structural aspects. These complicated aspects can only be solved by good communication between geotechnical and structural engineers.